Hey, it's Danielle Smith back with Keeping Style in Your Life. And this time we wanted to talk actual style in spring style. I don't know about you, but I am dying for it to get warmer outside. Where I am in the middle of the country, we're not quite there yet, but we are so close I can almost taste it. We've moved through two of the roughest months of the year, January and February, and now we are so close. You're starting to see spring buds. You're starting to get that fever and I am. So I wanted to give you five trends to watch for, five trends that you can actually shop your closet for. And that's one of the things that's really neat about this. For your spring trends, you don't have to go and buy an entirely new wardrobe. You might want to update with a few things, but a lot of the trends you can head right to your closet. So I wanted to give you an idea of what those are. Number one, black and white. Black and white is a really, really big thing this year. It's classy, it's in style, it's one of those things that's truly a classic thing. I pulled out a black and white dress that I have that's already in my closet, and this black dress that I have here, I have had for I don't even know how many years. But it's great to know that it's still in style. Number two, stripes. How many of us don't have some type of stripe in our closet? They can be horizontal, they can be vertical, but start looking for some stripes. You can find them really inexpensively. This shirt I got from Old Navy, and I love the color because it's so springy. I actually got it a couple of months ago, so it's relatively new but still already in my closet before I realized that it was a new style for spring. This skirt I got at Target last year and it was only $12. So you can find styles really inexpensively and again, shop in your closet. Okay, it was a big style last year. It's still a big popular style this year. The bright, the neon colors. So your neon oranges, your neon greens. I will confess that this is a new dress for me, but this one is Target. It's one of their new lines. Uh, it was only $40, so it's one of their more expensive lines, but you can also watch for stuff like that to go on sale too, but it's one of those bright colors and it just makes you feel bright and springy. You can dress it up with fun shoes. You could also wear it with sandals, so it makes you feel good. Here is a new one. This one is not something that I actually had in my closet before because it's been a long time since I've worn anything like this, chambray. So I picked it up. I'm kind of curious about it. You can kind of dress it up, dress it down, put a belt on with it, wear it with boots, and it feels sort of country, fun, heading out for a picnic kind of a feel, or you can just wear flip-flops with it. Final trend, and then I'm actually gonna give you two bonus trends. Final trend, colored blazers. Really good to have those bright pops of color in your closet. We always have typically like a black in our closet as a blazer, but it's so fun to be able to throw on those colors just either with jeans or with capris or just something that adds a little bit of color to our wardrobe. I have white here, which isn't a ton of color, but it's definitely springy and I could wear a bright color underneath it as a shell and then the green. Okay, your two bonus, Pantone's color of the year, this green color, this green color. So anything that you have in this green color is great for this year. So I have it in dresses, you could have it in jewelry, you could have it in shoes, you could wear it in shorts or in tops, but it is such a great color to have in your wardrobe. And it's one of those colors that looks so good on so many different people. So keep that in mind. And your final bonus, because I've already done five, the green is a, is a bonus. This is your other bonus, the color that I'm wearing right now. Topes and light grays, very popular this year as well. And you can wear these either in a full color, so you could be wearing a sheer shirt that has a, a taupe color to it, or you could wear something that's got the pattern. So this has the stripey sort of zebra-ish print to it, but it's subtle enough that it just is something, again, that I could dress up or dress down. I hope those have given you some good tips for getting you into spring and given you a good feel for how it is you can shop your closet and not feel as though you have to head all the way out to the store and buy everything brand new for this season. And I hope that it's given you a little bit of the spring fever that I have as well. If you have some other trends that you wanna share with me, I would love to hear them because I'm always up for knowing what else I can be looking in my closet for or keeping an eye for when I'm out in the stores because I do love to shop a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. Find me on Twitter at Danielle Smith TV and make sure to comment below. I'll talk to you soon.